Hey guys, welcome to the iPod demo. So I am in my top view here and I just dragged over an image of the iPod that I want to somewhat uh, remake. And it tells me that my iPod is about 4.1 inches. Let me go and make sure my units are in inches. To scale. Hold down shift to go straight. And that up or down, it doesn't really matter. 4.1 inches. So that should be it. Let me just kind of double check that by just going to my measurement. Yep, pretty close. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of make a box that's 4.1 by 2.4 <clears throat> by 0.55 high first. So I can make a box at zero. And then uh, 2.4 comma 4.1 and then 0.55. So I just keyed everything in, and I kind of have my cube at the moment. And then the iPod has actually a little bit of a radius here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Fillet, Edge, and Enter. And then one inch is probably too high. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and click set all and set the new radius to, let's say, 0.4. And yeah, I think I'm going to be okay with that. And the reason I chose 0.4 is that I know that that's 0.55, and it's probably even shorter than that. If this is 0.25, maybe it's like 0.2. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to 0.2. 0.25. There we go. And I have my, you know, my radius and everything looks pretty clean. And what I want to do is I'm going to cut it. Oops. So that I can separate the chrome base and the, the glass top, I guess. So I'm going to come here to my front view. And I will just take a line. Somewhere there. Now I could actually draw another line here and then measure it. Here, let's, for instance, I can go to my zero and then draw that. Um, let's get a measurement. So I can offset a line if I wanted at a certain distance, but I'll take the 0 0.40. And then I am going to split my object like that. So now I have the top and the, and the base. So this is probably a good time for me to set up some layers at this point. So I'm going to go here, say uh, metal base. Another one, glass top, like that, and put it onto the glass top. Take that and put that onto the metal base. So turn off the metal base and I'm just dealing with that. So this one should not be a solid because it you know it has a little hole. And and that's actually okay. I don't mind that at all. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and draw, well actually I'm going to do edge, so I don't have to redraw. And then uh, 
join all of them so that they behave the same way. And then I'm going to slide it up here. Oops. Huh, my edges are all over the place here. So, uh, I obviously traced this one at the top, I traced the bottom, and it, it just got all funky. There's a neat trick to bring all this back in, in alignment. So let me come and delete this guy. So you can see how this corner is kind of floating, but these aren't. So what I could do is I can select all of them, and type set, uh, X set point is what I want. So I'm going to set it in the Z and then just say right down here. And you notice that everything gets snapped down to the, to the bottom. So I have this sketch here which I want to join. And then take, take that part of the sketch and kind of pick it up. And then let me turn on the glass top. And then I'm going to reduce this. Pull down shift. So about this much here. And I'm going to use this sketch to project onto this and cut. So I want to go to split split this object and split with that object so now i should have a screen that is independent uh, of that other you know of my glass top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop the screen down just a hair just so that when I render it, that I get a little shadow line. Although I believe the glass is just all one piece, but having that little distance here will give it a decent shadow line and it'll make the screen kind of uh, stand out by itself. Uh, I do have a hole in the surface from here to here, so I'm gonna go ahead and sweep something soon. But actually, I think what I wanna do is I wanna reduce the screen just even more. So I get a little bevel or chamfer. Draw a line from uh, let me see quad perpendicular. Anything that I could snap to. No. There's nothing that I can snap to there. I just put in here, so I just try to get like a straight line between those two surfaces. Now I'm going to sweep two rail, so like that rail, that rail, and that. And I got a little surface there. That looks good. Let me go to my Arctic mode here. I'm almost done here with uh, with this uh, iPod. So the top, I believe. So I want to let's do the ring here. I'm going to. Uh, I should have set this up in the middle, but uh, I'm fine now. I'm just going to take one of these things. about that big. So I'm going to again split down like that. And 
And then, um, let's see here. Mm. That, I think I want to taper it down just a little bit. So let me take this curve back to top view. And let me reduce the size of that and split that. Alright, so I'm almost done. So I can delete that surface. I can drop this surface just a hair. And then let me get rid of that. I'm gonna loft from here to here. Uh, or I could have drawn a line and did a two rail sweep, but let me just try a different tool here. From there to there. So I get a slight depression. It's flush at the top, but it's slightly lower as it gets to this kind of bezel. So that's good. I'm happy with that. And then these things are pretty relatively easy to do. You're just going to have to split it and then push it in um, and create a new surface and all that other good stuff. But you should be able to now Render this, make sure your metal base material is metal. Steel, polished. That's your metal, and then uh, make sure your glass top. Go ahead and play with the materials, but you know. Do whatever you guys want. Let's go to dark gray. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe do a black plastic or something like that. But you guys get my point here. So that's your iPod. You know, make sure that you guys get it rendered pretty decently. Uh, go ahead and put all my uh, menus and all of these things. These control points here, or these iPod controllers, you're going to probably have to draw them and then physically model them and then place it on top. This one, see if you guys can figure out how to just cut this image from Photoshop or something or a photo editor and apply it into it as a material and then apply that material onto the screen surface, right? And then see, see how you can do. All right, good luck guys and we'll see you in the next demo.